Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be discussing simple trick in Shopify to either remove or uh, change the copyright line from the footer of your theme. This is the copyright line which is inserted by default in any Shopify theme that you use. There are different ways to remove or change the content of this line. Well, there are a lot of people asking just to change this line instead of uh, modifying or removing everything which is present over here so let me tell you you can easily modify this powered by shopify and uh, write your own text here issue themes is a store name whereas 2020 refers to the current year so to change this powered by shopify text let's go to shopify admin the debut is my currently activated theme if i want to modify shopify powered by shopify text i'll have to go to action and then click on edit languages edit languages will allow me to translate my theme and here in this page we'll have to search for powered by shopify shopify will find translations related to the string and get us the list and from this list we'll have to find powered by shopify it's here so i will modify this I want this line to look like copyright 2020 issue themes and then all rights reserved. So I'll, I'll modify this to all rights reserved and save this. Translations updated and let's check the front end. And yes, it's updated. Copyright 2020 issue themes, all rights reserved. So yes, uh, this is how you change the text in the footer. Uh, now let me tell you how to remove this line completely or modify some of the parts of this line. All right, so to remove this line, let's go to Shopify admin again. This time you'll have to go to action and then click on edit code. So this will take you to a code editor page where you can edit the code for your theme this is the list of the file that are available for your theme you can click on any of them and modify it for now we'll search for footer.liquid so yeah we have this footer.liquid file just click on it and it will open up the file this code is the footer of your theme will not mess up with the code of the theme but will just for search for powered by So yeah, here it's powered by and we'll just modify this part. See if you want to remove this entire part, including copyright and this line, we'll just remove this line 321 and 322. It's better to comment this line instead of uh, removing them altogether. So let's comment this line. And since these lines are now commented, let's look at the front end. The line should disappear. Yeah, so line has disappeared. Now let's look at the code line by line. Let's uncomment it first. Okay, so since lines are now uncommented, these lines are going to appear in the front end now. Let's save the file again. And let's see here. Okay, so the line is back now. Let's try to remove copyright 2020 and this comma first and then we'll remove the store name and then we'll remove the all rights reserved. So, the entire line is broken up into these two lines. Right? The first line refers to this content here and the second line of the code refers to the all rights reserved. So let's first remove the copyright. This part is for copyright. This part is for the current year. And then this is for the comma that we can see. Okay. We've removed the copyright symbol, the current year and the comma. So now this line will look like issue themes, the store name and all rights reserved text. Let's save this. And refresh the front end okay 
So now this line displays the store name and the all rights reserved line. Let's change this or let's remove this issue themes and we just want to keep all rights reserved. So we'll just uh, remove this as well. If we remove this, there's no meaning of keeping this line. So we'll remove entire line if you don't want all the components of this part. Okay, so let's save the changes. And after the changes are saved, we'll refresh this page and check if all the changes are proper. Okay, so we can just see this line all rights reserved as a result of the second line. If you don't want this line as well, you can remove this. Select it and delete and press on save. Okay, so this is saved now and uh, let's refresh the front end. We'll not be able to see this as well so because we've removed it from back end. Okay, so this is how you modify or delete the copyright line from the footer of your Shopify theme. I'd like to clarify one more thing before we end up that this, this copyright line in the footer might be different in each Shopify theme. I've showed you the default way to remove or modify it. Uh, it might be different from theme to theme. You can uh, go through theme documentation to modify this or take help from your theme author. Thanks for watching.